Good morning. Thanks for taking the time. Friday's Supreme Court decision was despicable, but it was not unpredictable. There is no magic bullet, but if there is something we can do, we will find it and we will do it at HHS. Federal law requires our programs to provide medication abortion in certain circumstances, such as the life of the woman, rape, or incest. Now, more than ever, it is imperative that all federally supported programs and services are complying with the law. I am directing the department to examine its authority under the Emergency Medical Treatment and Active Labor Act, EMTALA, to ensure that clinical judgment of doctors and hospitals is supported in treating pregnant patients, including those experiencing pregnancy loss or complications, and reaffirming that abortion care can be appropriate to stabilize patients. Medication abortion has been approved by the FDA for years and is safe for patients. It is the gold standard for care when someone who's pregnant experiences a miscarriage, which is all too real for many expectant mothers across the country. This is a moment of crisis in healthcare. At HHS, we will leave no stone unturned. All options are on the table. We will do everything within our legal limit of the law to reach patients and support providers. The rights continue forward, whether it's family planning, whether it is in birth control services, and we want to make sure that there's no misunderstanding and that we will enforce any violations of those rights. Every option is on the table. We will take a look at everything we can, and everything we do will be in compliance with the law. Once we tell you exactly what we believe we are able to do, have the money to do, we will let you know. But until then, what I can simply say to you is every option is on the table.